All right, guys, Deuce McAllister joins us here in Tampa. Talk about the exact opposite game from last week. We saw it today, didn't we? Well, running the ball, controlling the clock, and then creating turnovers. Even though you go back last week, they did create one turnover. You got four turnovers a day, and then protecting the quarterback. I mean, that, that's where you knew it was going to be important to protect Drew Brees. And you had some questions. I mean, just because you didn't have under speed and that, that defensive front can cause problems and get after you, but they handled them pretty good. It seems like in the Sean Payton, Drew Brees era, even when they've had their best seasons, they have a game kind of like against Atlanta last week. I mean, you point to they lost to the Bucks in 09 late. They lost to the Browns in 10, and they lost to the Rams in 2011. They all tell me, you know, we, we don't forget that game. That kind of motivates us the rest of the year. I guess you can identify with that. Well, you can definitely. You don't forget it. And then when you go back, you talk about 09. They lost the last three, particularly the last two. Last one they didn't really need. And so uh, there's always a dud in there somewhere. You, you just didn't want it to be against Atlanta, you know, particularly from the fans standpoint because you're coming off of uh, coming off of a bye week but this team's too talented this team was too talented even not having two of your better players you know uh, Marshawn Lattimore and Andres Pete thought they had a really clean game now, you can you can be picky about some stuff you know third down big plays uh, offensively you know maybe being a little more cleaner and not having to call the timeouts but uh, all, all of that you can clean up. It seemed like the Saints had the ball the whole first half. I mean, to control the time of possession, that was huge for this team. It was huge for them, and you know, at one point they had more first downs than uh, Tampa Bay had yardage, and that was like, you know, that 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 was impressive. And so, uh, thought it was just, it, it, it was it, it was nice, and it was good to see it, and it was good to see them start early. I mean, because they needed a fast start. You know, you didn't get the touchdown touchdown on the opening drive, but they were able to, you know, get the interception, and then you get Mike Thomas. So it was a lot. It's a lot better, you know, effort. I like what Cam Jordan said. Marshawn Lattimore had to be sitting at home saying, "You know, I want part of this action." I mean, four interceptions, but without Marshawn Lattimore, I mean, this is a lot about this defense. Marshawn Lattimore was saying it. He was texting. He was tweeting it out. So trust me, Cam. Yes, he was saying it. And so, uh, you know, he, he he's only going to add to this group when he comes back. And thought they did a nice job of uh, having P.J. Williams to follow uh, Mike Evans around, and then they left him in zone some. So I thought they did a nice job of trying to disguise what they were doing defensively and you know I think they had to defend 52 passes that's a lot you know and so uh, the Bucks couldn't really get anything going and you know, at the end of the day you come away with a 17 point victory. Great teams win games like this after they play bad but also great teams can win like this knowing they can score more points and have better games and that's really the case with this team. Well I think they left probably about 13 points out on the field and, and you know they ended up winning by 17 but there are 13 points out on that field that they can go and cash in and you know third down defense uh, be a little bit better a little cleaner in that situation this game even closer than what the score says now. Before I let you go, any favorite memory playing against the Bucks back in the day? You play these guys a lot. First start was here. First start, we got over 100 yards. John Lynch used to love playing against Brooks and Simeon Rice, that whole group. So always love coming to play against Tampa. You know, when you talk to the all-time leading rusher, it's just off the top of his head like that. Back to you guys.